I absolutely agree with uh, the finance minister that the project that uh, TMX will be built, and uh, and we're not interested in waving the white flag on that, um, and uh, we uh, we are not interested in betting against Albertans on that. That being said, uh, embedded in the budget are a number of conservative assumptions uh, as it relates to uh, the pipeline, as well as as the differential, as well as the price of oil, and uh, going forward, there there is additional room built into the budget as far as risk adjustment. So uh, we're quite confident that, that the budget is, and the path to balance, balance is based, generally speaking, on pretty conservative assumptions. And, uh, and there's, there's room uh, for those assumptions to, to move around uh, and on a number of different factors and for us to still hit our target. So I'm pretty confident that uh, the path to balance is reasonable. It's attainable, and what it also does is it supports Albertans, it supports diversification, it supports public services, and it ensures that this recovery is not yet another recovery where just the top 10% recover and everybody else remains uh, unable to enjoy the benefit of the recovery. This recovery is built to ensure that all Albertans enjoy it, and that's what the focus of this budget is. And it leaves Alberta in a fiscal situation, which is in fact the the envy of the rest of the country, and we never leave that position. And in fact, uh, the the uh, the debt to GDP ratio begins to go down even before we get to uh, to uh, balance. And so I'm I'm confident that we have a reasonable. Um, long-term vision for uh, preserving our our financial um, uh, health, and that that is even done while maintaining an $11 billion a year tax advantage relative to the next lowest taxed province in the country.